good morning face or uh, YouTube so this morning dude I've been up since like uh, 5 a.m. and I haven't done that since well I do it every now and again but you know it feels good to get up super early I used to get up at like 3 a.m. 3 30 a.m. every morning um, when I worked I did garbage when I was driving a garbage truck because we started at 5 a.m. every day and uh, it just feels good to get up early, man. Get on that schedule. I'm gonna start doing that. Um, so, take a look. I completely reorganized my garage. Um, probably gonna put those strollers downstairs. Maybe leave one up here. But, yeah, I got everything lined up really crispy. And then there's the van. Here's some extra SH. <clears throat> so, dude, I'm going to actually be taking a step back and kind of reevaluating my business plan. Um, so, I think I have the whole how to present myself, how, how to do business, I, I understand extremely well, such as um, the tech, like the work. So, the technical aspect of it. Um, the service, the customer service, I have all that stuff down packed, even the how to present estimates, all that stuff's awesome. What I need to focus on now, which is the next hurdle, and you'll get to this stage too in your business, when you first start off, um, there's multiple stages to business. There's your stage one, um, which is like you're just starting, you're, you're out there in the field, and you're not really focusing on the back end, the, taxes and financial and you're not really like calibrating all that stuff um, so that's stage one and there's stage two we're starting to kind of step away from the um, actual in the field stuff trying to get employees and stuff trained and then you're focusing more on the administrative end um, but it's just it's a it's a hard patch. It's a hard feeling because you're almost like a, like a slave to your business, because it can't it can't do anything without you. Like if you were to if someone was to pick you up and take you out, nothing would happen. Your business would just sit there like a rock. So it's a scary feeling. It's a scary feeling when you're when you have no boss to answer to and. Uh, Sorry, I got a text. When you have no boss to answer to, you have nobody to hold you accountable, um, it's a sketchy feeling. When you have all this on the line and you're like, dude, the only person that's making this work is me. Like, there's nothing, you know what I'm trying to say? So, it's a messed up feeling because if something was to happen to me, then my family screwed out of income, and you know like where at least if I had a job and something was to happen to me on the job or something then I would be covered with like workman's comp you know what I'm trying to say so creating a more legit environment which means investing into workman's comp and, in, and proper insurance not just the bare minimum to make ends meet and uh, all that stuff um, and also like the trying to create some type of system and I'm trying to think of in my head where um, I can do estimates better because what I do is when I'm out in the field I got all this motivation and energy people call me for estimates I'll be like I'll get to that later on today I'll get to that later on today so then every day I got three or four estimates even if it's one estimate to go do and that's tough dude every single day because I come home unload the whole truck by then it's like five the kids are wanting to hang out and then I still got to leave and go do estimates depending on where they're at and then I got to come home and punch in all their information and then send it in an email luckily all that stuff's automated for me um, all I gotta do is punch in the information punch in the price quick send but still it's a task um, yeah so just some food for thought you guys I don't know where you're at in your stage of business or if you're just looking to get into it but these are all realistic uh, 
realistic things to expect. So my suggestion would be to work on this stuff every single day. You know, just get things out of your head, jot it down on papers. You know, I, I have all these crazy ideas and stuff that I, I feel like some could be failures and some could be awesome and uh, groundbreaking, you know, really make me stand out from competition. So, that's it. I'm just looking around at all my stuff, trying to think of what we need for the day. Uh, we're behind today because of weather. It looks like it might rain again today, but we'll see. And, uh, yeah. Um, that's all for now.